Hi guys, today I'm going to do a first impression of the Collection Illuminating Touch Concealer. I bought this the other day and I really wanted to try it out but I thought I'd wait to a video to do it. So that is why my face looks the way it does. Um, okay, it's got just a little brush applicator and I really like anything like this. As you know I love the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer so I thought I'd give this one a go because it is slightly cheaper. And it's got this twist on the end where you twist it and then the product comes up through the brush. So, let's go. Oh. You see that? It's coming up. Okay. I'm just going to put this on under my eyes. It's a nice consistency. The brush is really soft. I got the colour Naked, which is in colour number one, um, because I'm so pale. Right. Let's pat that in. Doesn't. F it's quite. It's quite thick. But I don't. I think it's going to look too cakey. No, uh, it's quite cakey once it's on. I think it might crease. I'll try the other side with the Real Techniques contour brush, but I use this for my concealer. See if that makes any difference. Oh, it dries very quickly. Definitely looks better when you put it on with a. Oh! I don't like this, look, where I've used the product and touched the bottle, the colour's coming off on my hands. I don't want to put... Sorry, just had to get a wipe. Look at that. It's all off my hands and off this tube. That is definitely, definitely downfall for this. So overall, I wouldn't say that this is the best concealer. I probably won't rush out and buy it again. Um, but I will use it up. I mean, it's done its job. I wouldn't say it's very illuminating though. I'd say it's just an ordinary concealer. Um, so yeah, nothing special. I still prefer my Match Perfection from... Which has the same sort of applicator, but you just squeeze it rather than turn at it. So yeah, definitely. It's worth, it's worth a go, but I wouldn't say that it's as good as, say... The Rimmel Match Perfection and it's definitely not a dupe for the Touche Clout or anything like that. Um, slightly cakey and I've used it once in the direction, not the directions, the um, the words have completely gone. So that is my first impression and really quick review on the Illuminating Touch Concealer from the collection. I will carry on using this and if I find that anything changes I will update you guys and I'll also put it on my blog so yeah check those out and thanks ever so much for watching.